Hello students, welcome to Anne's classes. Let's do percent and percentage chapter 7, exercise 7b. Question 1, multiple choice type. Choose the correct answer from the options given. First one, out of two students A and B, A does 10 questions and B does 30 questions. So 10 questions and B does 30 questions. This is B, this is A in the same time. Now we have to find the percentage of the number of questions done by B to the number of questions done by A. So what is given to us first? Let's write number of questions done by A is given to us. That is 10 questions. Number of questions done by B is also given. That's 30 questions. Now we have to find the percentage of the number of questions done by B to the number of questions done by A. So B comes first. So we have to write that number first and by the number of questions done by A, which is 10. And since we've been asked to find the percentage, we have to multiply this by 100%. So now we can do normal multiplication of fractions, cancel the zeros, multiply 3 into 100%. That makes it 300%. So this is our answer, 300%. And that is option B. So we have option B, 300%. Question 2. In an election, there are only two candidates, A and B. A gets 60% of the total votes polled and B and wins the election by 960 votes. So A gets 60% and wins by 960 votes. What is the total number of votes polled? So we need to know a few things. Let's first write what's given to us. Percentage of votes secu secured by A is 60%. This is given to us. Now, this is a percentage, isn't it? So the percentage of votes secured by B will be 100% minus 60%. 100% minus 60%, which is 40%. That means A got 60% and B got 40% of the votes. Now, what is the difference in their votes? The difference in their votes is 960, isn't it? It's given that, they, that A won by 960, so that is the difference. Then, what is the percentage of the difference in their votes? That is... 60% is what A got and 40% is what B got. The difference means you subtract both and then we get 20%. So here we have difference in their votes is 960. The percentage difference is 20%. So 20% of the total votes is 960. Now let's consider the total number of votes to be X. So now we can say 20% of X is 960. That way we can find the number of votes. So let's say that. So 20% of X, we don't know the total. We're finding that. And this is, we know is 960. So now we can say 20% means 20 by 100 into X is 960. So now we can calculate this. So here itself, we can cancel 20, uh, 1, 0 there and here 5. So this makes it 1 by 5. 1 by 5 into x is 960. So we can find the value of x by saying 960 divided by 1 by 5. So now this is division, which we can change to multiplication. That's how we do division of fractions, isn't it? So 960 into 5 by 1. So now we can find the total of Total number of votes by multiplying 960 into 5. Is 4,800. So and this is option given the textbook option D. So we've got our answer. Option D is 4,800 and this is our answer. If A is 20% less than B, then B is, we have to find B. So let's consider B to be 100. So now here it says A is 20% less than B. Then how much is 20% less than B? Let's calculate that. 20% of B is what we have to calculate first, isn't it? So 20% of B means 20 by 100 of is into, into B and B we said let it be 100. So if we cancel this, what we get is only 20. So 20% 20 of B is 20. Now we know that A is 20% less than B. Now we need to find A 
we need to find B and only then we can find the percentage of B here. We need to know both. Okay. For that, we can use this formula. That is difference between A and B by the original value into 100%. And why are we using this formula? Because here B is greater than A. Isn't it? So there's an increase in percentage. So increase in percentage, this is the formula to find out. So now let's get back to this. 20% of B is 20. That means A is, according to this, A is 20% less than B. So that will be B minus 20%, B minus 20% of B. And we just found out 20% of B. 20% of B, it's 20. And we know what B is, B is 100. So let's substitute. So B is 100 minus 20% of B is 20. B, 100 minus 20 and that is 80. So now we know A is 80. We already know that B is 100 and we know A is 80. Now the difference, what is the difference between them? That means we have to subtract the two. B minus A, difference is B minus A and that is 100 minus 80. 100 minus 80 is 20. Now we can find the percentage by which B is more than A by using this formula. So according to the formula, what do we write? We say difference by the original value into 100% and the difference is 20. So divided by the original value and the original value here is 80. We are talking about the value of A because we are finding the value of B, isn't it? Now, 20 by 100 into 100%. We are finding the percentage here into 100%. Now, we can cancel. Now, here I can cancel this also. Two ones are 2 and two fours are 8. I can cancel 4 and 100, 25. So, here we have found B to be 25%. So, we have to choose option D here because it says 25% more than A. More, it is more than A because right at the beginning we are told that A is less than B. So 25% more than A which is option D. So the answer is option D. Question 4. A student has to obtain 35% of the total marks to pass. He got 25% of the total marks and failed by 80 marks. Now we have to find the total marks. Let the total marks be X. Now, the marks that your student got is 25% of the total marks. So, let's write that 25% of the total marks and total marks is X. So, this becomes 25 by 100 into X. Let's leave it like that. Now, what is the pass percentage? It's given to us. Pass percentage is 35%. Now, if we have to find the passing marks, that will be 35% of X. So 35% of X means 35 by 100 into X. So let's leave it like that. Now here it says the student got 25% of the marks. That means the student got these marks and failed by this marks. So this is the total marks. From this, the student lost 80 marks and that's how the student got this much. So we can write that as 25 by 100 into X is 25X by 100 is equal to 35x by 100 minus 80. Okay, I hope you understood this. These are the marks that the student got. Now, this is the total marks and the student got 80 marks less than the total marks. That's why the student failed and got only this much. Now, we're going to solve for x. We're going to put all the x's to one side and the other number to the other side. So, here what we'll do is we'll write this as it becomes an equation. We can write 35x by 100 as it is. Now we can move this term to the other side. It becomes subtraction. So minus 25x by 100. So in that case, since we have moved this to the side, we have to move this also to the other side. So it becomes plus 80. Now let's solve for this. So I'll write it here. 35x minus 
25x. This is 25x. 35 minus 25 is 10. 10x by 100 is equal to 80. Now we can cancel here. I can cancel this 0 and this 0. It becomes 1 by 10 or it becomes x. 1x by 10. x by 10 is equal to 80. That means x is equal to 80 into 10 which is 800. So x is 800 and that is our answer. Option B is 800. So this is our answer. Question 5. A mixture of milk and water contains 4 parts of milk and 1 part of water. The percentage of milk in the mixture is what we need to find out. So the percentage of milk is given to us 4 parts of milk. And we are also given the, percent, uh, the part of water in the mixture. There is one part of water. Now we have to find the percentage of milk. So first thing we have to do is find the sum. Find the sum of 4 and 1. So sum will be 4 plus 1 which is 5. And the part of milk. So we are finding the percentage of milk. So write the, the part of milk first by the sum. Okay, the sum is 4 plus 1, 5. So let me write it like this to make it easy for you. Part of the milk. What is the part of milk in that mixture? The part is 4. What is the sum of the two parts? 4 plus 1 which is 5. And to find the percentage, we multiply this by 100%. Now we can cancel 5 into 20 is 100 and multiply these two. 4 into 20 is 80. So the percentage of milk in the mixture is 80%. And that is option D. So the answer is option D and that is 80%. This is our answer. Question 2. A man bought a certain number of oranges out of which 13% were found rotten. He gave 75% of the remaining in charity and still 522 oranges were left. Find how many oranges he had bought in the beginning. Okay. So the number of oranges be x. So we know he bought a certain number of oranges. He, gave, he found 13% rotten, 75% was given to charity and so much was left. Based on all this, we're going to solve up sums. So first we're going to say let the number of oranges be x. Number of rotten oranges is 13% of x, isn't it? 13% of x. So that is 13 by 100 into x, that is 13x by 100. Now, number of oranges remaining. So now, rotten oranges have been removed. So there are some oranges remaining. So that will be x minus 13 by 100x. So these are the good oranges or the oranges remaining. So let's write that. Total oranges minus the rotten oranges. Rotten is 13x by 100. So this will tell us the remaining oranges. So let's calculate this. So this will be by 100 here by 1. So this is 1 into 100, isn't it? You have to take the LCM. So your LCM will be 100. 1 into 100. So you multiply x also by 100. So that will be 100x minus 13x. 100x minus 13x is 87. 87x by 100. That means the number of oranges remaining or the remaining oranges is 87x by 100, which we will write here, which is 87x by 100. These are the number of oranges remaining. Now from this number, 75% was given to charity. Okay, so from this remaining number, 75% was given to charity. So let's calculate how much was given to charity. So number given to charity is 75% of this number, that is 87x by 100, was given to charity. So let's calculate this. 75 percent means 75 by 100 into 87x by 100. So here let's calculate. We can cancel 75 by 100. 75, 25, threes and 25, fours. Now there's nothing more to be cancelled. So we have to just multiply. So that becomes 261x by 4 into 100 is 400. So given to charity is so much. So rotten oranges are so many, remaining so many and from that remaining so much was given to charity. So now we have to see how many oranges are left. Okay, so this is the remaining oranges we had. From that we gave so much to charity. 
Now, if we subtract these two, we will know how many oranges are left now. So, let's subtract that. So, number of oranges left will be 87 by 87x by 100 by 100 minus 261x by 400. We have to minus these two. Now, we'll know how, much, how many oranges are left. And here, we are already told that so many oranges are left. That means this whole term or this whole equation is equal to 522. When we subtract this, we should get 522. So, this is equal to 522. Now, we have to solve this. 87x by 100 minus 261x by 400. Let's simplify that and see. So, let's work it out here. 87x minus 261x. Now, this is 100 and this is 400. Now, we have to find the LCM. The LCM is 400 here. That means here we are multiplying this by 4. So, multiply 87 also by 4. So, that is 348x. 348x minus 261x. So, that is equal to, I'll continue here, that is equal to 87x by 400, 87x by 400. Now, what have we done here? We have solved this part and we got 87x by 400 and that is equal to 522. So, let's write that. That is equal to 522. That means to find the value of 87x, we can say 522 into 400. Now we can find the value of x. x is equal to 522 into 400 divided by 87. Now we have to cancel whatever we can here. We have to carefully do this. We can cancel 87 and 522. 87 ones and 87 sixes are 522. Now we multiply the numerators here. So here 6 into 400, 6 fours are 24 and you add the two zeros. So we have found the value of x. x is equal to 2400. And what did we say x is? The number of oranges bought. So the number of oranges bought, let's write it here on top. The number of oranges bought is 2400 and this is our final answer.